Hey guys, so um, I thought I might talk about uh, some sequels that DreamWorks Animation should really look into doing. Since I talked about the do's and don'ts when making A Bug's Life 2, I thought that this would be the next step. So I do have a lot of ideas for DreamWorks sequels, um, but I'm just going to go to the rundown of what I think that those sequels should be. Hopefully, someday we will get these sequels. Um, so, anyways, um, let's talk about these sequels that I think should happen. So, the sequel that I think I would like to see the most is A Shark Tale 2. So, there's a lot of people that do want the sequel. Uh, namely, a YouTuber named Sharky, who does um, a lot of fan art for Shark Tale. And she talked about... The possibility of a Shark Tale sequel in two videos. I recommend you go check those out. Um, so, what I would do in the sequel, um, instead of having uh, sharks be the main antagonist, what about humans? Surprise, right? Um, what if we use the fact that they're basically human fish and use that to kind of uh, expand the world and uh, further the plot? Um, what if uh, these fishermen, they find these uh, sophisticated fish and they plan to get rich by um, selling these fish to some kind of test facility to kind of like um, figure out why these fish are sophisticated and to eventually show them to the world. Because like if you came across fish like these, you would want to exploit them, maybe put them in a zoo. A lot of people would pay to go see these fish. Um, so it's just an idea of what a sequel could be. You could um, develop Lenny as a character. Uh, this is what I would do to tie into the first film. Have these fishermen be the fishermen that killed Frankie. Maybe make Lenny the main character. Um, but you should still have Oscar and Angie in the film. They should definitely have a big part in the movie. Um, namely, develop the relationship of Oscar and Angie. Maybe have the relationship uh, be taken to the next step. Maybe marriage or something. I would really like to see the sequel. I have a very soft spot for the first film. I grew up with it. And it would be a nostalgic blast to see these characters again. Uh, so, that's one idea. The second sequel that I would really like Jeremy to do is Over the Hedge 2. Now, you could say we already have a sequel in the form of the video game, but we kind of had a sequel to The Incredibles with Rise of the Underminer. I want an actual theatrical sequel, one that is actually canon. Um, I don't know if DreamWorks confirmed the game is canon, but you know, I would like to see an actual sequel. And they don't have to come up with a totally original story. They could just adapt the game, but change a few things. I'm sure that there are a lot of people that haven't played the game yet. And it would be new to them. Uh, but of course you need to add some new things in there too. Um, maybe have RJ and Heather kind of have a romantic arc. Um, maybe add in new characters. The possibilities are endless. Um, it's already got a lot of source material since it's based off a comic. So go all out, DreamWorks. Give us over the hedge too. Okay guys, um, I took off my glasses because I've uh, just gotten back from uh, Dollar General and my hands are kind of full. Um, I only have one pocket, so um, just bear with me. So um, anyways, uh, another sequel that comes to mind is um, Megamind. Why not make a Megamind sequel? Um, they already did a short implying that there would be more adventures with Megamind because uh, he's now the uh, protector of um, what's his, um, Metro City, right. Um, I thought it was Metropolis at first, but uh, then I remembered it's the same city as uh, Astro Boy, Metro City. Um, but anyway, you could have Megamind fight a new villain um, and... You could uh, develop the relationship between Megamind and uh, Roxanne. I really do think that there are places for the sequel to go. And 
I don't think that um, Megamind is done yet. I think that you could totally uh, make a new movie and you could um, take the characters in new directions. Like I said in a Bugs Life 2 video, you could give them each arcs that continue the story in a fresh way. There's a lot of possibility with a Megamind 2. So uh, this is a sequel I'm not dying to see, but if DreamWorks does announce a Megamind 2, then I'll definitely go out and see it. Uh, it's kind of doubtful though, because it kind of underperformed at the box office, at least to DreamWorks, because um, I think that a film has to make more than 300 million um, to be considered franchise worthy. Like, uh, in uh, 2010, out of the three animated features that they released that year, Megamind was the lowest grossing, only making over 300 million, while How to Train Your Dragon made over 400 million, and Shrek Forever After made over 700 million. So, I can see why DreamWorks wasn't quick to make a franchise out of Megamind, but I still think that they could do a sequel if they wanted to. Um, another idea that comes to mind, and this is a sequel that I would like to see, Kung Fu Panda 4. Now, you could say that Kung Fu Panda 3 ended the trilogy off perfectly, but I don't know. I think that there were still some threads that uh, need to be tied, like maybe have Poe and Tigers get together. And, uh, I don't agree with Dragon Critic that, um... Shifu should die. I think that, you know, that could happen, but it doesn't need to happen for the story to progress. Um, I still think that there are a lot of things that Kung Fu Panda can teach us, you know? I don't think that uh, the Kung Fu Panda franchise is done yet. I would definitely love to see a Kung Fu Panda 4 if they ever get around to making it. Um, Speaking of four quills, Madagascar 4. Um, now, I know that uh, there are definitely some directions that they can take the Madagascar franchise. Like, let's see what happens after the events of Madagascar 3. The gang are now part of the circus. Okay, what happens now that they're part of the circus? I think that there are relationships that still need to be developed, like Alex and Gia. Like, it was implied that they would be together at the end of Madagascar 3 but I would like to see how the relationship develops over the course of a fourth movie. I would like to see them share some more moments and uh, get to know more about each other. I think these two have the potential to be a really cute couple. And also on that note, why not bring back some characters we haven't seen in a while? Like maybe the majority of characters from the second film, like um, Alex's parents. Why not have the circus end up in Africa and make the entire franchise go full circle? A lot of people have uh, thrown around the title Madagascar Back for Africa. I actually think that title's brilliant. This doesn't need to be a perfect film. It just needs to be what the other films were. Fun, funny, charming, and likable. That's all. And also they gotta have plenty of penguins. So DreamWorks, I would ask you as a loyal fan to please revive this project. Bring back Madagascar 4. We would like to see these characters at least one last time. Now, there are sequels that will never happen, like El Dorado 2, um, Sinbad 2. Those films won't happen because the originals flopped, and also 2D animation has been abandoned by DreamWorks. Now, you could make the argument that Spirit got a sequel, so, you know, the door is never really closed um, for those movies to get a sequel. But the only reason that that movie happened was because the Netflix show was really popular. And also, it's not really a sequel to the film. It's an adaptation of the show. But I gotta tell you guys, the one sequel that has been confirmed by DreamWorks, I'm looking forward to more than any of the films that Illumination is going to bring. Shrek 5. It's about damn time Shrek comes back. It's been like 11 years since the last Shrek came out. I am definitely excited to revisit that world again. But do me a favor, don't remake it. And uh, this is what I would do. 
I would make it kind of like The Force Awakens or Toy Story 3 where we're coming back to this world but it's years later and uh, we could kind of have like uh, you kind of like re-experience things that we experienced in the first four films but in a new way. We could kind of like feel like um, a lot of time has passed like we're visiting these characters that we've been away from for so long and it's really good to see him again. So that's all I asked for out of the Shrek reboot. I don't really care if Shrek is the main character or not. It could be his ogre children, which I think that they should definitely go on that route. I would definitely like to see them do that. And hopefully Illumination doesn't botch it like they do a lot of their projects. And don't put minions in it. That's all I ask. And that it be released theatrically. But I think that's a given since the Shrek franchise is a major cash cow. Um, so, what do you guys think? Would you like to see any of these sequels? Or do you think I'm just a sucker for uh, nostalgia and I'm wishing for something that is impossible? Let me know down in the comments. I will see you guys later.